Welcome to the pre-show. I wish that there were more pomp or circumstance surrounding it, but I'm actually still working on stuff. Um, I'm doing stuff with the uh, entrances. Um, it's kind of involved, a little bit more involved than I thought it would be. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop open our uh, Twitch chat here. And what I'm going to do real quick for the first part of our pre-show tonight is we're going to do a quick question and answer session. Uh, you know, since we're doing stuff behind the screen, or behind the scenes, rather, uh, if you have some behind the scenes questions about the goings on of the MMWF, um, I'd be happy to take them. Um, for now, though, I am going to continue working on this stuff. Uh, got quite a bit going on right now. You also are watching uh, that uh, the Defenders, I think, is what it is on Netflix. Yeah. All right. So, any of you expect expecting some match excitement tonight? We will still have that happening. So, um, you know, stay tuned because I'll be doing a few pre-show matches, at least one, probably two, maybe more. But for now, if you've got any questions about how the MMWF operates, you know, now would be the best time to ask those. Pre-show goes until about 7.55, and then we'll get started with the main show at 8. Huge, tremendous card tonight. Just a super card. And very fitting since Holocaust was the show when the MMWF returned in 2015. So it's very fitting that we have a huge card bringing it back today. Kind of uh, regretting not bringing back the Elimination Chamber for tonight, um, but it didn't really work out um, storyline-wise to have it on the card. Maybe we'll see it at Counterbalance. Don't know. I know we got the Cell tonight, and then uh, in December we will bring it, be bringing back the Cage, but it's going to be different this time. It's going to be a different kind of Cage for Edge of Midnight, so expect Cage matches of a different sort. 1986, they would rule the criminal underground inside. Your tattoo, it stands for Mina's Blackout's Trail. I'm not mistaken. In English, it translates to execution or reform. It brings you to the banya that the man. The next trick. Next entrance that I'm working on is actually Taco Loco, so. For those of you expecting to see some excellent video gaming on the stream, well, you're going to have to wait. Unless you want to watch me work on advanced entrance creation video game excitement. About right. And then I promptly select the wrong thing. So, Taco Loco, advanced creation. I kind of let Jace down because uh, Jace wanted a, uh, an image overhaul uh, for 2K16, and then uh, I promptly wasn't able to give it to him, and then I said I'd get it done before Holocaust, and then we were working so hard on other stuff, on other balance changes last night, that I totally didn't do it. Alright, I'm actually going to the bottom off of this one. As much as I love Psycho Stick. Three of our uh, uh, comrades have been held here by some 
Taco Loco frolicking into the room is Brie Bella. That's a no. That's not, that's not going to be his actual motion. Nobody wants to see Taco Loco frolic. being very boring right now, but I'm waiting for questions in the chat. Fit Finley just like what was Fit Finley's thing? Was it? It looks like you know working with wrestling games pretty much my entire life. It looks like Fit Finley's entire thing was that he was Irish. I remember watching matches with Fit Finley, and he was actually like a competent worker. He was a good hardcore guy. Um, I don't really remember though, like him having much to his career except being hardcore and being Irish. Oh, he had a shillelagh. Oh, he had that leprechaun. Oh, wow, yeah, that's, that's quite a career, yeah, I don't know, man, I just, it's disappointing to see these hardworking mid-card guys just get absolutely nothing, their entire career, except maybe, you know, a hardcore title or two, that's about it, and that's, these are better, wouldn't you say, like, at least can be, I mean, did he even have the European Championship, even, like, if uh, being Irish is his whole thing, should he not get a European Championship? Shane McMahon, who isn't even European, gets a European Championship? China, rest in peace. Not European. Re change things forever for women's wrestling. Not European. Roxy and I have to talked at length about that before. The European Championship basically being a joke. It's like, okay, cool, like, you had this European tour, and this is the championship that you made for that tour. Okay, so after the tour ends, it's no longer a thing, right? Or unless you go back to Europe, which they did several times. Like, they went back to Europe so much. Anyway. Just me yapping while I finish this work up.
my yeah. wrestling podcast, basically, yeah. that I don't actually have. Also, I remember when New Day were actually just heels. Like, they weren't comedic heels, and then they weren't comedic faces. They were just assholes. That's what I think they need now, because they need something to change it up. They're so... stale. They're bland. Oh, also, finally, my entrance, not too short. Doesn't randomly end after I'm done. Which, by the way, it wasn't ending, it was entering the second breakdown of the song. And, uh, that's done now. This, we're back to normal. Welcome to the MMWF pre-show slash extended network test. Because we had a bunch, of, we did have a bunch of internet problems last night. We had uh, people over playing Smite. The other thing that we're all obsessed with in this apartment, and it kept breaking and disconnecting, and it was not good. So this getting a, a a nice little long network test doesn't hurt things either. That is for certain. Getting slapped in the face. the other thing. Tag team entrances. I'm going to be lazy and just get the ones that are on the card tonight. Let's see who I have to do. Yeah, you should probably clean up our tag teams that are in here. Oh man, we are overdue. Thank you. 